Hey, welcome to this Windows channel. And today we're having a little bit of news of Windows 10 on July 20th, 2015. So what's the latest news in the Windows 10 release? Well, it's nine days away, really, really not very far. And already we have a great build for insiders that is uh, 10240 and uh, still nothing new for now, but uh, I expect to uh, have something who knows, maybe this week or at least next week we'll have something for the official release as insiders get the first wave of the official release. So um, what we have of news is, first of all, um, the upgrade path of Windows 10. Windows 10, of course, is something that will continue to be updated and upgraded. And we got to be careful with the um, the wording here because uh, an article by computerworld.com was mentioning upgrades, free upgrades, um, you know, to um, two to four years after release and so on. First of all, the um, number of years that Windows 10 will be supported is 10 years. Like every Windows, uh, it has a lifespan of about 10 years. And what's happening is, um, so th first of all, that means that Windows 10, as released in 2015, will have support up to 2025. So if you don't, uh, you know, upgrade in a few years because of X or Y reason, you still have the updates. And updates are the regular security updates for your system. Um, it's normal that two to four years is, you know, the life cycle of Windows having new versions of Windows. So it's kind of normal to say that in four years, somebody might have to pay for um, an upgrade to Windows because that upgrade, we don't know yet. Um, it's not that official that Windows 10 is the last version. Uh, it could be, you know, I wouldn't be surprised to see a Windows 11 and Windows 12. But, of course, that will not be free and people will have to pay. But your Windows 10 stays free. And so if you've got it free the first year, it stays free and you'll have updates up to 2025. Lifespan of Windows 10 is 10 years. Microsoft did say that they give the same support to Windows 10 as any other versions of Windows, which is 10 years. So that's the first thing. Um, don't worry, you know, there will be a free Windows 10 and you'll have a free Windows 10. You'll be able to install it on the same machine in six years and it's still going to be free. It's just that there will be upgrades and that's where the wording is important. Updates, no problem. Ten years of updates you'll have. Upgrades is a different word. It's a major change in the operating system. And what we know is that every three to six months, we will have major upgrades of Windows 10. So these upgrades will change the way Windows 10 works, apparently making it better, hopefully not changing too much the way Windows 10 works so that nobody kind of loses control here of what they're doing. But there will be major upgrades and so the first one is expected before Christmas, apparently. So it means that the version of Windows 10 we have now will be modified or will be upgraded somewhere just before Christmas. So that's interesting. Um, of course, Windows 10 stops um, the update. You know, it's not Patch Tuesday anymore. It's pretty much every time there's an update. And we can see it already on Windows 10. If you have the uh, 10240, uh, the past two days we had two security updates and they just installed. And so you can see that these updates will be there pretty regularly. So instead of having like, you know, 15 or 20 updates once a month, you'll have updates here and there popping up. Hopefully that will work well. And I think for the majority of people it works well. I know there's a lot of people that are scared about that update. And no, you cannot stop the update of Windows 10. It is 
uh, not like the previous versions where you had that on off switch for updates it's not going to be available in Windows 10 so you'll have updates but you know what I wouldn't be too scared um, I think things should work just fine um, and if you don't want these you'll have to have the enterprise version is the only version where they give you uh, the possibility to back off for a certain time um, so you know most of you will have updates here and there popping up but you know I wouldn't be too scared I'm not for now I'm not scared at all and uh, of course I'll be talking about that as they get available um, the other thing in the news is uh, Cortana now Cortana is not available in uh, many countries and a lot of people have been actually giving me um, you know asking me why does Cortana why is Cortana not working right now and um, that's because it's not available everywhere when Windows 10 ships on July 29th uh, Windows 10 will have a Cortana available uh, in seven countries so that's the first thing that you need to know seven countries will have Cortana and it's um, United States, United Kingdom, China, France, Italy, Germany, and Spain. And uh, apparently Microsoft did talk about this because a lot of people say, well, why not Canada or, you know, countries that usually have pretty much everything that comes with the operating system. And they, they were mentioning that it's kind of compli complex to have Cortana working well in every country mostly because every country has its own way of you know communicating and Cortana has to answer in certain ways and have certain accents and work in different ways depending on the country where it's going to uh, be released so they say it's a little more complex um, but in the coming months uh, hopefully this fall in the coming months Cortana will also be um, released for users in Australia, Canada, Japan, and India. So that's uh, hopefully before the year's end. And uh, throughout 2016 there's going to be releases of Cortana pretty much everywhere so that's going to be an interesting uh, thing as pretty much everybody will get Cortana eventually uh, later this year or by 2016. Uh, one sad note, and that one I was really counting on, and it's, um, I don't know why, it seems that there's some kind of glitch apparently that doesn't work well. Uh, Microsoft postpones Windows 10 ability to install apps on the SD or micro SD cards. And that's uh, really a little sad. I hope they fix it soon because for most of us on you know regular laptops and so on it's not much of a problem you know like this machine I have now uh, actually has a 500 gigabyte hard drive I'm not gonna you know have any problems with that but I do have one tablet Windows tablet that I'll upgrade to Windows 10 it's a touch tablet and that tablet has only a 16 gig SSD in it which means that I don't have a lot of space and I was counting a lot on the fact that apps um, will be able to install on micro SD cards because in the tablet I've got a 32 gigabyte SD card so you know I can install apps there they don't take space on the, m the main drive so for all of you that have these little you know tablets Windows tablets or mini PCs that doesn't have a lot of space 16 or 32 gigabytes um, that feature is an important one and uh, for now they said that they're holding that and it's not going to be available at the release of July 29th so it means that it should be available eventually but not right away which is a little sad though um, of course you can you know send all that information you know like your documents and images and videos onto an SD card but still the ability to put apps there would be quite interesting 
So that's pretty much the news I have for now. Uh, of course, we are waiting and we're getting closer and closer to that July 29th uh, date. And uh, lots of videos are going to be popping up on my channel about, um, you know, Windows 10 and how to use it and how to do uh, a lot of stuff. And you guys can, you know, ask questions and I'll try to post videos and help you all if possible with um, you know just using Windows 10. If you enjoy my videos why not subscribe to your channel you'll be informed when new videos are online for any comments questions anything you might want to know about Windows 10 any comment you might have about Windows 10 the why or why not you're going to stay or not on Windows 7 8 or going to 10 it's interesting to have your feedback and hopefully you enjoy my videos and we'll come back. Thank you for watching.